Hey folks, Peter Granis representing Markon here and I want to talk to you about one of my very favorite items that we do, our Markon First Crop Strawberries. And as with all of our Markon items, you know you're getting great quality, great consistency, high yield, and food safety. Uh, one of the things that really separates the Markon First Crop Strawberries is what our inspectors do walking out there in the fields. Every day they're walking several fields to make sure that they're very, finding the very best strawberries the strawberries that have the right size, the right color, the right ripeness, the right firmness, and the food safety that we need to ensure that you're going to have the very best strawberries out there. Some of the ways that we do that is by our traceability program, part of our five-star food safety. And you'll see not only on our carton do you see the five-star logo as well as our traceability information, but it's also on every single package. So you'll see our five-star along with our traceability information. That means if this clamshell were to get uh, uh, taken away from the carton, all that information you need is still there. That's a little bit about what makes our strawberries different, but what's even more important is how you can use those strawberries. So we'd like to introduce to you Markon member Chef Eamon Lee to show you how you can do that. Thanks, Pete. Hi, my name's Chef Eamon. And you know, when it comes to coming up with ideas for our customers, it really makes it easy for us to you start off with a product like Markon Strawberries. Really from there, it's just passion. Here are three ideas that we put together plus a little surprise at the end. The first one here is a Greek yogurt tart, capturing a very popular trend. Uh, this one is actually garnished with strawberries. We threw in a little twist with some mint. If you puree some fresh mint in a little bit of simple syrup, it makes for a wonderful sauce and a great surprise when your customers are trying this dessert. The second dessert here is an appetizer. Normally we see strawberries in desserts, but this one is actually strawberry carpaccio. It captures a great flavor of Marcon strawberries, but by increasing the surface area, what we've done is we've increased our profitability, and we also have wonderful garnishes on this, including Marcon arugula, red onions, some beautiful orange segments, and it's all garnished with some ricotta salata and a little bit of balsamic reduction that's been infused with Marcon strawberry flavor too. Delicious appetizer, very, very popular. Finally, we've all had strawberry shortcake, but why not miniaturize some of the portions on a dessert and then give your customers maximized experience when they're trying desserts? What we've done here is we've captured strawberries three ways. This is a miniature strawberry shortcake, but with the addition of a chiffonade of fresh basil. Very refreshing and it plays off the strawberry flavor very well. Also in the middle here we have some tempura strawberries. Delicious, not something you normally try, but it gives you a great uh, foil for the, the shortcake here. And then finally the other component, which is a strawberry consomme. Everybody's had a couple of strawberries in the cooler that we just can't find out how to use. If you take them in and basically make a simple syrup and infuse it with those strawberries, you capture that strawberry flavor and you put it in a consomme form. Here it's garnished with blackberries and a little bit of chiffonade of strawberries as well. Finally, the surprise. If you take some of that consomme and you mix it up with a little bit of soda water, you have yourself one of the most popular trends in restaurants, and that's a culinary mocktail. This way we're really leveraging that strawberry flavor and the value that Marcon brings to your kitchen. So on behalf of Marcon, I'm Chef Amon. Thanks for watching.